Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosehill. I produce videos about Israel and Jerusalem, usually with a factual or opinionated bent. Before sharing today's video, I want to thank whoever is watching these for helping me pass the 2000 subscriber milestone this week. It's encouraging and keeps me motivated to keep going. This YouTube channel is a passion project, but I have a lot of fun creating and sharing these. I've done videos before about the high-speed train that runs between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, which launched in 2018 and greatly improved connectivity between the two biggest cities in Israel. Fun train fact to brighten up your Thursday. With a top speed of 160 km per hour, the train is not actually considered high speed by international standards. The International Union of Railways, for instance, considers 250 km per hour to be its cutoff. But despite that, the train has proved extremely popular and is now also a primary means of getting between the two cities and Israel's national airport, Ben Gurion, near Tel Aviv. Named after Israel's fifth president, the Yitzhak Navon train station in Jerusalem was purpose built for the line and was opened when the Tel Aviv route started operating in September of 2018. Getting from the entrance to the platform level entails descending a long series of elevators that make getting to your average London underground tube stop feel like a short skip and a hop from the street. That's because the Yitzhak Navon station is one of the deepest railway stations in the world. The platforms are located 80 meters, which is 260 feet below street level. That's only slightly shallower than the world's deepest metro station, which is the Arsenalna station in Kiev, which is 170 beneath the street level, and the Bedaling Great Wall station in China, which is 102 meters underground. The station's location almost 100 meters below the entrance to Israel's capital city also made it a logical piece of infrastructure to double as a public shelter during a potential nuclear, biological or chemical attack. Given that Israel is continuously threatened by states like Iran that have made clear their intentions to do precisely that, this seems like a pretty prudent decision to take. And so, just like how Israeli cinema theatres are sometimes used to hold public lectures, a quickie mart sometimes double as informal clubs, the Yitzhak Navon train station leads a double life. Operating as both a major transport conduit and also as a component of the city's preparedness plans in the event of a catastrophe. Lest you are wondering, none of this is exactly the stuff of state secrets. You could say that the station's dual purpose is hiding in plain sight. As passengers descend towards one of the flights of escalators, they pass these unmistakable heavyweight bomb shelter doors with imposing looking ceiling mechanisms ready to lock shut in the event of a municipal or national catastrophe. While passengers descend to the platform, they see only long elevators encased in metal tubes with short passages running between them, but hidden from view is a large public shelter intended to protect 5,000 Jerusalemites. In addition to Yitzhak Navon, Jerusalem, like all cities in Israel, also operates an extensive network of more casual bomb shelters which are located throughout the city and open primarily during times of warfare or when the city is threatened by rocket attacks. And needless to say, these are only the shelters that are in the public domain. As any good prepper knows, it's prudent to never disclose your bug out location. And I think it's safe to assume that the majority of Israel's preparedness efforts, including those intended for mass casualty events, God forbid, are not in the public domain and will probably always remain tightly under wraps, away from the eyes of prying YouTubers. Until next time.